everyone, Peter Hewitt, La Artistino. Now a little while ago I was approached by Banggood which is a web-based Chinese shopping site which offers a range of different wares including art supplies, toys, clothing, jewellery, electronics, home decor etc. A representative approached me and asked if I would be interested in reviewing some of their products and I took a look at their site and saw some of the things that um, I thought would be suitable to show you and uh, they have since sent me a couple of items. This is a new hobby craze that I have seen sort of picking up speed on the internet and certainly in my community there is a club that has formed where they get involved in doing this and um, this is this particular craft is been given the name diamond painting so I saw this diamond painting uh, kit on Banggood and I said I would be willing to um, have a look at it and to bring it to you and show you guys what it's all about now there have been a few diamond painting YouTube channels which have started up. I like to throw in a few novelty items from time to time just so you can have a taste of what else is about that I've found. Anyway, let's have a look at this kit. Take it out of the wrapping here. And this one I thought was a nice little kit that would be easy to do. It's a, uh, a blue cat. I'll just pull it open. Now everything that you need to complete this kit is included in this little package so quite slim. You can get much bigger ones but um, this is only a, a smallish sort of one I think. It says 30 by 30 centimeters which is about 12 by 12 inches and um, that'll be the outside of the canvas. I should imagine it looks like this is only about um, probably about 10 inches by 10 inches is the actual picture. So you've got the canvas here with a print of the cat on it. Now I'll get my husband to zoom in a little bit and you can have a look here and see that the picture is actually made up of lots of circles with uh, letters and numbers in them denoting what colour goes into them. And if you look on the side here you'll see there's a list of numbers and the corresponding colours that that go with them and they pertain to this little pack here which is your beads or drills or diamonds whatever you want to refer them to they're often called diamond drills and they are in this case lots of little flat round beads this sort of a plastic vinyl type bead or resin bead uh, with a flat bottom on one side to stick to the canvas and a kind of a faceted like a gemstone facets on the top and that gives the picture its sort of glittery effect when it's finished. So you've got 16 colours there and we'll just check these are all the beads, all the different colours so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 um, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes, so there are all the coloured beads. Right, now, how do you get the beads to stick to the canvas? Well, elementary. This canvas is actually got a plastic cover over the top protecting the picture because underneath where you stick the drill, we're sorry about that, the noisy kind of plasticky sound, where you stick is sticky. This one isn't terribly sticky but I think it'll do the job. So you leave that on top so that you don't get any dust or cat hair or anything on it. And um, we also with this kit got some tools. This little set here which is uh, apparently the basic tool set that you get with most of these kits. There are some little differences you know with the colours and, um, and the quantities and types but this is basically it. And in this kit I've got some little little bags with um, little sealable bags there. I guess that's to hold some of the, the little diamond drills. Um, you get a stylus. This pink pen thing has got a metal uh, stylus end which has got a bit of an indention there so it's a little hollow there. And with that you have a piece of wax pink wax and it's covered on either side by a little 
clear plastic film to protect it. And the third thing that you get is this tray or drill tray which you use to pour your diamonds in and straighten them out so that you can pick them up and work on them. Now the first thing I noticed about this canvas is that it's suffered from shipping. I mean it was probably lovely and flat when they first um, printed it but now it's all kind of rolled up and it's got these big creases in it. Now I had a look online to see if there's anything that you can do about that and there is a couple of things. One of them that's recommended is to lift up the plastic cover, the, the, the coating here and then like so to halfway and then flatten it back down again to try and straighten out the canvas and that actually that, that actually works quite well. I believe it works better when you get uh, diamond paintings that have a white cover on it you know, rather like the, the protective sheet that we, you get with contact paper. Okay, that, that worked quite well. We'll do the other side. Peel it back and then carefully... Ugh, it's all static. It keeps sticking to me. There we go. Right. Okay, how did that go? Actually, that's not bad at all. It's flattened it out a bit. Now the other trick that I've been told is that you can actually iron these and the way that I've been told to do it, I'm going to nick off and try it now, is to put um, the piece on your ironing board upside down, put a tea towel over the top and then using a warm iron just run the iron over the top until you get it nice and flat. You have to be careful not to use a hot iron because that might possibly cause some problems with the sticky or the plastic. Anyway, I'm going to go and try that and we'll see what the results are. Be back in just a sec. Okay, I'm back. Now, I wouldn't say that was a complete success. It's lying nice and flat and I can work on it like this, but it's still a little bit, a little bit wrinkled at the back. I think uh, if you put it under some books for a while, something heavy to flatten it, that would probably do a better job. I was a bit worried getting a bit too hot with the iron in case I damaged the surface of the canvas. But uh, I seem to have avoided doing any damage. So I think we'll move on to actually seeing how to go about doing this diamond painting. We'll start off with the, um, the drills. They come in these little bags, all connected together. And each bag corresponds to a letter. So you've got the numbers of the bags here and the numbers of the bags across there. If you look next to it you've got it corresponding to a letter say. So the one here, this one, corresponds to this dark blue with a one on it. And the two to a two and you go all the way up to nine where it's an A. So that would be these ones here, I guess. So yeah, basically exactly the same sort of thing as, as cross stitch. So we will give this a go, hey? Right, now what to work to put these in to start off with? Rather than keep them in these little bags where I could possibly lose them, I've got here a couple of uh, little weekly pill containers. Uh, you can pick these up from the chemist or drugstore, I guess, over in the US. Uh, or um, I think you can also find them in uh, discount stores as well. And this is just like a little pill container where you've got each little compartment that you can put your tablets and it's got like, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday all written on it so you can not get your tablets mixed up and you don't have to keep messing around with little pill bottles. So I'm going to use those and I've got some stickies here so that I can label each pill container with the relevant colour. Now the problem I've got here of course is that I've only got two of these so that's 2 times 7 that's 14 and there's actually 16 colours so the last two I'm just going to have to leave in their little baggies and see how I go. So as you can see I'm just putting little stickers over each of these pill containers where I'll write what uh, number 
colors in each one. Here we go. Our first one, and that is one. Now, I did come across one issue though with a couple of the colours, the little drills were very sticky, like statically, they were clinging to each other. And it stands to reason if you know physics, if you've got lots of small particles rubbing against each other, it creates a, a charge. You know, that's how, you know, lightning forms uh, up in the clouds. So I think that's just what you can, you might have to expect with some of these if they've been rolling around and rubbing around each, with each other in, in their little packets or during the manufacturing process. Anyway, that's the um, sorting out bit. I'll just throw my rubbish away and we will get started on the actual painting. Now, I believe that with this little stylus, you need to put some of the wax in the tip here, and that creates a little sticky surface so that you can use the stylus to pick up the little diamond drills. So I will peel back the wax, one little corner of it, and just shove that down there. There, I've punched out a little hole, you can see there, with the stylus and I've got a little bit of wax in there. Now that should create a small sticky surface to make it easier to actually pick up the, the diamonds themselves. So we'll start off at the top left hand side, because I'm right handed, it's easier for me to work this way, as you know that's the way I do with colouring as well. And we will choose the colour, let's see, J. Here's J here. And this one, actually, J was 14, wasn't it? Yep, so I've actually got some of it left in here. So I might use the ones in here first. Okay, just tip some of these out. Oh dear, these are very clingy. I would, um, I would grab some of the laundry towel myself and decling them but um don't happen to have any. I think if anybody can think of any other ways to de de-electrify stuff, let me know in the comments below. Because that will come in handy round about now. These are really, really clingy. Not a good start. Here we go. Probably might have been better to start with uh, diamonds that aren't quite so sticky and clingy but anyway this is reality I'm showing you how to, as it is not prettying it up so you know exactly what to expect okay so let's shake that out some of them are really thickening together but we'll, we'll pick out pick them out and see how we go 
I don't anticipate I'll have the same problem with the ones that aren't like all staticky and there's only two colors that are staticky so we shall see now the idea is you take your I just pop that in the center there and you can see we might just um, start with this ear now I'm only peeling back a little bit of this plastic because if I peel the whole lot back I'm going to end up with all my dog hair on it because um, my dog Loki is shedding like crazy he uh, he's a um, constantly sheds skipper keys are only supposed to shed twice a year but he hasn't read the skipper key manual obviously anyway if you've seen I've used this little stylus I'll knock it off again and I pick up a diamond by the faceted side not the flat side so the flat sides on the bottom and then I just put it over the top of the J and look it sticks right so it works pick up again and stick again now if you lose the stickiness of the stylus I guess that's what the rest of this is for whenever it gets a bit too unsticky when you can't pick them up anymore you just pick up another hunk press out another hunk of um, wax to use so actually this is this is kind of fun I think um, you could uh, while away oh, hang on, it's not sticking anymore hold on there we go while away a lot of hours just doing this it's a bit slidey on this one um, there we go. If we just perhaps if we just push that over and push it down. There you go. Make it stick nice and hard. Okay. So this is working. And um, with every different colour, you just change the uh, the diamonds. I would just pour the leftovers back into the packet, into my little um, fill boxes, and grab the next colour. And but probably I'll work my way down from this ear all the way down to the bottom. I think what I might do is speed it up a little bit because I think this is going to take a while. Now, I'll leave all the details down below for uh, where you can obtain this particular diamond painting on Banggood if it interests you. Okay, I think this would be a very good idea right now to put on some music and just chill out and put these diamond dots on.
here we have our little cat all finished and if I just hold it up you can see how gorgeous and sparkly those uh, diamond drills look you can see why they're called diamonds when they sparkle like that I hope the camera's catching it now this kit altogether took me about six hours to do which was a nice amount of time for, for this size you can get much bigger kits that'll take you much longer uh, the leftovers of the drills I've got lots there's a couple of packets here I think there's every color I've got leftovers a bit hard to see inside these but if I just flick them open you can see we've got lots and lots certainly plenty of um, diamond drills to to complete the picture with don't know what you do with the rest of them you could chuck them or um, keep them for uh, another project if you use say double-sided sticky tape on a on a project you could actually stick them to your own to your own pictures and and other works of art so that, that's an idea instead of just throwing them but I've got plenty left over and um, out of the wax that I use to put into the uh, drill stylus as you can see, it's a bit hard. I'll just let my husband zoom in on that. But you can see there's a, there's only about six or seven holes in there, so you don't really need that much. This this is plenty. So that was a lot of fun. Now this kit retails for in Australian on Banggood for six dollars and thirty two cents. Uh, if you go to the Banggood site, and I will leave the links below uh, to uh, where you can get this particular. Uh, diamond painting and also a page which shows a big list of all the different diamond paintings that are available if you uh, log in w with your own country then the price will be posted in the denomination that um, that you use oh well, and uh, I think that's it for this kit I had a lot of fun doing this I think this is a great kit that you could share with um, with a friend or a daughter or a grandmother it'd, it'd make great presents I think for people who like to try something different in the crafty sense anyway I hope you've enjoyed this review and with my next video I'll be back with something more coloring book like and um, until next time I hope you have fun with any coloring adventure you are currently on and happy coloring Hope you're enjoying any coloring adventures that you are currently on and until next time happy coloring